It's been a while since we had our last business mover in the show, but not to worry. We have the segment back this week, and our business mover is a lady, a workaholic and a dreamer who brought franchising to the country. Meet Mrs. Maria Alegria Bing Sibal Lemhuko. She is the female face of Philippine franchising, so hers is a very familiar one. Maria Alegria Sibal Limhoko, or Bing to many of her friends and colleagues, grew up in New Manila. Her mother was from Bacolor, Pampanga, while her father hailed from Mamban, Tarlac. Bing is a middle child, one of nine siblings. My father is a doctor of law from Yale University, and my mother is a dentist. Uh, but when she got married to my father, she did not practice anymore. Mm -hmm. And um, unfortunately, during the war, they did not have... Uh, my father was not able to practice mm -hmm. anymore. So after the war, in 1945, Actually, my mother started Alamars, okay, with uh, like the stationaries they left in our house in New Manila. It was a depot, okay. So she started with one table along Rizal Avenue. After that, she also put up the Phoenix Publishing. Phoenix Publishing is what the children opted to continue because we were dealing with Filipino authors. It was the first to have Filipino authors. And also, uh, we would like to sell directly to the schools. Yeah, so we are now uh, selling directly to private schools, not to government. For grade school, she went to St. Teresa's College or STC in Quezon City, took up her high school education in Assumption College in Heran, and went back to STC for her college degree. She grew up in the company of books when the family put up the Phoenix Publishing House, the first one to specialize on Filipino authors. And like most successful people, she learned the virtue of hard work. You know, we have to wake up early even on Saturdays, and we have to work. We are not the privilege we're in. You can sleep as long as you want. So we were trained by our parents that, you know, we must not take it easy, but work hard because in life, for you to get your goals, it's really hard work. After graduation from college, she went to the U.S. to take up short courses on virtually anything, from interior design to jewelry making. She spent two years in New York, where she finished a degree in interior design at the New York School of Interior Design, living in a dorm with other ladies, but she put her New York stint to good use. She worked part-time at the Barnes & Noble bookstores and also at Gimbel's department store. Full as her week was, she still had to do all her house chores on Sundays. During all these, she was selling Avon products for extra income. Back in the Philippines, she decided to start her own family, tying the knot at age 25 with Angel Dodi Limhoko. At that time, she was already deep into the retail business and was in fact president of the Harrison Plaza Tenants Association. But despite all that she had studied in the U.S., what she really longed for was to pioneer in something. And this something turned out to be franchising. When I finished college, I started with the Phoenix Publishing House and with Alamars. But of course, as I was uh, going through life, I wanted to make a difference in something that is not yet there, and that is franchising. We started franchising when there were only less than 50 brands in 1995. People did not know much about franchising. How did 
Philippine Franchise Association start. It was the Philippine Retailers Association that started the franchise seminars and they were full house meaning standing room only. So we thought of putting up the Philippine Franchise Association and that was when we were growing with like a few brands only now we have a thousand five hundred brands this is a franchise of francorp usa where they studied the nitty-gritty of franchising before bringing the concept to the philippines like anything new and novel it wasn't easy explaining this to the filipino businessmen but slowly they got clients who all started small and grew to become one of the more famous brands in the Philippines. By the way, Francorp USA was responsible for the franchise concept of Jollibee, their first Filipino client and now one of the Philippines' top corporations. Other high-profile successful brands they helped establish here are Bench, Pen Shop, Gold Deluxe, Potato Corner, and Max's chain of restaurants. Max himself will say, we start our we started our growth when we started franchising. Mr. Trotta himself said that. It's fulfilling. Okay. Because I really saw sometimes micro become small, small become medium. I saw them growing under my eyes. And it's very fulfilling to oneself to see them. This lady, whose family had LMR stores selling stationery back in the 70s, already had her foot in retailing when she was a young lady. She became a member of the Philippine Retailers Association because of their LMR's business. But in the 90s, her family chose to concentrate on their publishing business, Phoenix Publishing House. Because the schools prefer that we sell to them directly. And you know, they would have the extra discount, which is good for them. Rather than, because you know, afterwards, the rental of the malls was just too expensive. How does Bing start her day? Of course, I usually start my day with a prayer to the Lord. It's either the Mass in the morning or Mass lunch. or you know, I try to do it every day because I want to put the Lord in the center of my life. And at least with that, it relaxes me. I think, you know, He's able to find ways where I'm not so stressed. I leave it like there are problems. I leave it up to Him. Bing shares that she also loves to dance and Sundays are always family days. And this includes her siblings and their families as well. She has earned her share of accolades and awards. I won the Starpreneur of the Year award, meaning also entrepreneurial. And then for the female network, it was one of the most influential Filipina. And so with the Philippine retailers, they have awarded me also. And the Philippine franchise, actually there were several but maybe I will just give the final. Yeah, because I was given. Even PCCI gave me Employers Confederation of the Philippines. I, they also gave me citations. And, um, but I would just like to focus on the one that I just received lately. But for this lady, one of the pioneers of franchising in the Philippines, this still holds the key to her heart. Yes, we still want to bring more brands overseas because we feel our brands are good. You know? um, even the fruit magic has evolved. They're already there, Bibing Kinitan. And even the... The others are all also trying to go overseas, and I think they're ready.
You just met an amazing lady whose fulfillment lies in making the Filipino franchisers business grow by leaps and bounds who is proud of our Filipino brands and who hopes to help create more jobs for the Filipino. Mrs. Bing Alegria Sibal Rimhupo.